Okay, well, we've cleared out... <laughs> we cleared out the sandstorm! So that's fun. I want to see what the guy at Kara Kara Bazaar has to say about that, but... I don't think... What the hell is that? Did you see that shadow? It was like a tower shadow. Aha! Yeah, we're going to Kara Kara. Since there's a sand seal here, we're going to take advantage of that. There's no shrine near Kara Kara Bazaar, though, and that disappoints me. Or is there? Hmm. Hey. We didn't really look that hey. hard. <laughs> okay, I'm here to brag! Look at him, he's all super... ...worn down. I don't know if it's because he's sleeping. It's- I think it might be because he's sleeping. Not sleeping. Not. Sleeping. <laughs> sure, buddy. Gerudo Town. So many girls. <sighs> okay. Well, yeah, we can rest up a little bit. Hey, little buddy, how are you doing? Hey. Yeah, there you go. You should do it again. People keep on telling me to do this. To make the dog run in circles, but it's never really done it because of me. Kind of just does it on its own, you know. It's all volition. It's a dog. It don't care. Don't care. Not right now. It's fine. At least, at least we can pass the time. Sit by fire until noon. I'm gonna go brag. I'm gonna brag to this guy. He'll be like, "You left your wife." And now I found the treasure. Hello! The sandstorm stopped! Oh, alright. That's it. That's kind of disappointing. Whatever, time to cross-dress again. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So these- I guess these don't actually offer too much heat resistance? They offer some heat resistance, especially when you actually combine them all together. Actually, you have to combine them all together to get the heat resistance. Oh! Okay. I'm just being curious about something, so I could, in fact, still get some better heat resistance in the future. But for now, let's get back to the Gerudo Town Village. Okay, let's get back into the village. Actually, if I had uh, put the time at AM, I could have ran to that guy with the snowshoe or the sand shoes. That would be nice. Especially if it offers a little bit of heat resistance, but I don't know. Oh god, there's so many women here. Good grief. I can't believe the chief's heirloom was stolen by thieves. Ah. Oh, the helmet that was supposed to be Lady Ubrosa's favorite, right? It's been handed down from chief to chief for generations. Apparently the chief is pretty distressed. Oh. She's still so small too. Poor thing. Mm. They have an idea of who committed the theft, but the thieves aren't amateurs. I heard they're professional assassins. Uh -huh. That explains why the barracks have been noisier than usual. Uh -huh. Yeah. That is, uh... That would be the Yiga clan for you. Please see the front desk for all inquiries regarding the renting of seals. Well, what if I want to jump into the pen with this seal? Ooh! Somebody just left a hundred rupees chilling in a chest. Hello! I'm gonna take a picture of y'all. <laughs> Actually, we'll, we'll do one better. Mmm, uh, uh, yeah. Sand seal. Savak. Savak? Mm. The sand seals here were all trained by Freli. They're faster, and they'll wait for you to return to them. By comparison, the ones outside who haven't been trained will just run off the moment you dismount. 
It's definitely worth renting a trained one. Frelly puts her heart into training them. Frelly trained the sand seals using the sand seal races too, of course. Sand seal races? Oh. The sand seal races are a Gerudo tradition. It's pretty simple. You use a sand seal to race around a course to see who's the fastest. Just go out the southeast gate of the town and head to the right. You'll see the starting line immediately. No harm in taking a peek, right? Well, it depends on, you know, if people want to kill me or not. Here's, uh, Frolly. Vasak! If you're hoping to cross the vast Gerudo Desert, Sand Seal Surfing is the way to do it. Sand Seal? Seriously? Sand Seals are animals native to the Gerudo Desert Gateway. It's quite dangerous to cross the desert on foot, but if you have a Sand Seal, you'll breeze right along. Okay, well, I already know this stuff, but later, later. See you later! What? Is that some kind of slang? I wonder if it's just a thing outside Gerudo Town. Ah. Oh. Frelly, you're young. You should be hip and down with all the slang. Hey. Uh. Savak. Mm. So yeah, hey, the name's Bozai. I'm 35, single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tick, and I think some of them have meant it in a nice way too. So you out here on your own? Pretty rough and tumble place. Wanna hang out with me a while? <laughs> sure, nice sand jogging. Ah, <laughs> uh, you notice these old things? Yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all. So jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and... Give me those boots. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to mm. woo. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, you hungry little boot monster. But first, a favor. Ever heard of the legend of the eighth heroine? Eighth heroine? Ah. Everyone's heard the legend in the Gerudo region about the seven heroines. But some tell of an eighth heroine. Wiped clean from history and no one knows why or how. A phantom heroine known to all but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. <laughs> Find her. Show me the 8th heroine, and I'll give you these sand boots. What do you say? Sure. Uh... Yes! Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> According to those who idolize the 8th heroine, she's enshrined somewhere in the Gerudo Highlands. Apparently they even have a nickname for her. The Bronze Giant. Catchy. Beyond that, I don't really know much. Mm. Who knows? There might be someone in Gerudo Town who knows more about the legend of the seven, her seven heroines. Maybe that info would help. I don't know. Anyway, draw a picture or something if you find her, and then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. If you get one, make sure at least the statue's upper half is visible, okay? Oh, and here. If you like, you can use these. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Besides, you seem really into boots. Snow boots! Bozai was kind enough to lend you these boots. They evenly distribute your body weight so you can maintain your normal walking speed over deep snow. That's actually kind of nice. There have been a few areas where it's like a little awkward to walk through the snow. The Gerudo Highlands are covered in deep snow, so it's hard to walk, right? Everyone knows that. But with these snow boots, you can walk through snow like it was flat ground. Mm. No, you can walk even faster than that. No one makes these anymore, so they're extremely valuable. As such, you can't keep them, okay? What? Excuse you? Aww. Many have investigated the eighth heroine, but it's, inscrutable, it's an inscrutable, inscrutable legend. An unsolved and possibly unsolvable puzzle. And as Miss Boots spins her wheels on it, we'll grow closer, and closer, and then... Uh. <laughs> and then, you think you're gonna get with this? No, honey. You see... These abs are not meant for you. So... So mm. What's a foe doing here? Ah! Uh. Surprised? You might be able to fool all the other Vi around here, but you won't fool me so easily. Don't worry, though. It doesn't matter much to me what you do. But since you came all the way back here, maybe you'd like to stay a bit and chat? Yeah, sure. What, uh, what about the goddess statue right here? Oh, oh the goddess statue has been here since long before I was even born. No one re here really believes in that stuff anymore, though, so they tend to avoid stopping here. Kind of like they avoid me. But someone has to keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a cheat to chat with a bow again. Will you humor me a little longer? Sure. Have you ever left the town? Mm. Oh, I may not look like it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty, too. It was a rare thing for a bow to not notice me coming to a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in my mind. 
I'd heard of the Lover's Pond, and I thought I'd meet my true love there. I traveled all across Hyrule searching for this fabled place, but I couldn't find it. Ah. And before I knew it, I'd grown old. The vow no longer turned when I walked in. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago, and I chased my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a treat to chat with the vow. Uh, I want to talk with the statue. Oh, oh just you live your life to the fullest, little vow. I will, especially in this outfit. You who have conquered the shrine to claim those spirit orbs. Heart containers. Yes. I need to be able to survive more hits. Especially considering how many times I have to be in outfits that don't actually offer much protection. I wonder if I can find the lover's pond and like take a picture of it for her. Like I found it. Maybe I can find you an old man! Another true love, but we didn't get a mission or something, so... Yeah. Ow! Seriously? <laughs> I got hit. Ooh. This Gerudo-made bow is popular for the fine ornaments along its limbs. Designed for hunting and warfare alike, this bow is engineered to strike distant targets. Hey, it's a sniper bow. Well... I could get rid of the Forest Dweller bow, although I don't know. You see, I like all the bows we have. All of these, we have, ooh, we have like five three-time arrow shot ones. And that's pretty nice. I could, I, if I got rid of, it's brand new and it's got durability up plus though. Oh, because I could use this for like random shooting at stuff and not have to waste my other stuff, but you know what? I wanna just grab this. Gerudo bow! It's a sniper bow! Which means the shots go a lot further before going down, which is nice. Okay. Sorry, little forest dweller bow. Ah. Uh, I mean, I could get rid of one of these Lionel bows. Oh. I mean, this one's been used by a, a good bit. Yeah, we'll be fine. Where does this go? Oh. What's the password? Uh. F. Oh. And what comes next? Oh God. Uh. Q. Mm -hmm. And after that, C. Mm -hmm. And what comes last? Star. Go drink milk in the bar or something. Oh! The secret club secret. I guess... That's the password we can find out. Oh, uh, what is it? I prefer to rest and relax until night. Alright. She's a party goer. So... Password, 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 password. Oh, hey, hold up. We got ourselves... No, never mind. I thought we had a hearty thing. Oh! Rito kid. A foreign vi, Savak. Do you have rice balls where you come from? I think so. Take fluffy steamed Hylian rice, add rock salt and mushrooms, and you've got mushroom rice balls. Saved recipe. My sister's been really busy with her research on the seven heroines lately. Maybe I'll bring some to her. Is she your sister? Oh. No, just more cooking ingredient things. Okay. We're almost done looking around, I think. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Fairies? It's said that fairies truly do exist in the world, but that they will only appear before an individual with a pure soul. One theory suggests that some special, ki or some special kind of cooking might be possible if you use the power of a fairy. 
I, Ori Tamo, have been a pure soul for over 35 years. I expect my fairy will arrive any day now. All right, what about extraordinary elixirs? You can cook up an elixir by mixing a black part and moss part together. Elixirs can be made in pots just like food and with valuable ingredients. The elixir's effects will get stronger. You can also add acorns or chicolo tree nut to impart your elixir with minor healing properties. Ah, however, I, Ori Tamo, am deathly afraid of insects and would never even think of touching them. Fortunately, there are regular meals that you can cook which will provide the, produce the same effects as elixirs. Okay, what about this? Most ingredients can imbue their meals with some unique effects. Ingredients that have cold properties can help you resist heat. Ingredients that have hearty properties can fully heal you and grant you temporary bonus vitality. There are many other effects to be found among ingredients. You just have to experiment. And don't forget, com uh, combining ingredients with the same effect may increase the effect's strength or duration. C but combining ingredients with different effects may cancel their enhancing effects out, so you must be careful. I, Ori Tamao, am admittedly quite impatient, so I am always... I am always... Or I always have speed-increasing hasty foods on hand. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if you could eat a food in real life, or like a piece of food in real life, and it just speeds everything up for you. My mind! It has been accelerated! <laughs> stop, stop! I think I can see him! See, see who? Well, what's she talking about? Hello. Savak. Savak. I... I finally found the vow of my dreams, and I just recently married him. I thought I had finally found, ha found happiness. But then, my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is the innards of a Molduga. Or, what the hell is a Molduga? But I would never be able to take down such a creature myself. I asked the soldiers for help, but... They said they have serious issues to deal with. They said they had no time for my plight. They hmm. turned me away. But then, why wouldn't they? The Molduga is a menacing beast. None who face one escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. Mm. I thought I'd finally gotten out of this town. Never thought I'd have to come crawling back. What's a Molduga? Ugh. The Molduga is a monster. A terror so savage that even other monsters won't approach it. I don't like the sound of that. It's often been spotted west of here, in the Taruma Dunes, and in the south. It's very sensitive to vibrations, and it tends to attack anything that draws near. Oh, is it an underground enemy thing? <sighs> You can't approach it or even move near it, and you can't use someone as bait. So what am I to do? Medicinal Molduga. Oh boy. Well, I could fight with them. I'll take all your arrows. And then... I'm not really worried about all the other ones. For now. If I need more bomb arrows, we can always ask later. Wow! That's a really big ver or ver vure bird, probably. Oh. Oh, good day. I really want to use the actual Gerudo greeting. Savak. You know, Savak. Uh. But I'm worried I'd mess it up and embarrass myself. Mm. You know, like, look at me. I can speak another language. It just feels like bragging. I understand. Oh. Do you get many visitors where you're from? Gerudo Town is so different from my home. I live in Rito Village. We don't get many visitors there, so I'm not really familiar with non-Rito. But now that I'm here, I should enjoy myself. I wanted to start by trying out some of the meat here, but... Mm. Well, they don't seem to have poultry. Lady? Isn't that like cannibalism a little bit? They don't seem to have poultry, she says. <laughs> and it's super sad. Well, maybe they just aren't- they don't like you. Anything like that. What is this? Oh. That's the air I shot from the sniper thing. Okay. Whoa. Why'd that light up? Alright, so she said to the west of here in the Taruma Dunes that I can find a Malduga. So I am gonna go out there and see if I can find the Malduga. Just look away. I'm trying to get close to you. No, don't scoot further. I could rent one. But I don't want to! Yes! Haha! -ha! Alright! We ride out into the desert. To find the Malduga. 
And, uh... Oh! It's cool enough right now that I don't have to worry about... ...about heat. Good! Good! Because I think I'm going to need armor. Every last little bit of defense that I can use. Alright. It's probably gonna be something... ...scary. Or... ...maybe it'll be something... ...completely normal. And it's just like, a big, big moblin. But like, bigger. Hey guys! Don't mind me! You just keep patrolling the area, or just, not really patrolling, but standing guard! I've got things I gotta do. Like, fight... Fight a monster that's so scary, other monsters don't even approach it. Whatever that means. Oh, there's a sand seal. I was like, what the heck is that? Mulduga. It's got a health bar. Uh-oh. Oh my god, that's big! Holy shit! What? What? Oh no! Oh no! How the fuck am I gonna fight that? Well, I can tell you what I'm not gonna do. Stay here. That's for fucking sure. I'm gonna stay up top where it can't just dig into the area. Holy hell. What the fuck? It's gonna eat my sand seal. Okay, we're just gonna- we're gonna- whoops. I'm trying to roll this down. That didn't do what I needed it to. But maybe it'll still attract its attention. Wrong bow! Wrong bow! Wrong bow! What the fuck am I supposed to do about this? It just goes underneath the ground! Can I use stasis? Well, obviously not when it's underground. But maybe we could do it later. I feel like I'd instant die as soon as I get, I get such my. Hey, guys! Look, listen. I'm just really trying to not be eaten by this thing. I want to see it, like, eat these guys. No, fuck off! Hey! Stop being rude! Oh boy. What did it do that for? Why? Okay. This is scary stuff. Run! Run, little sand seal! Run! It's not worth it! Oh boy. So I have to make it jump out of the, the sand... ...and have it attack me that way. Ah, oh god, of course it's... It's cold out now! I'm over here! Fuck! Ah! Yep! You know what? That wasn't that bad. I thought I was just gonna instant die to it, but honestly, yeah, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that good either. Ah! I can do this! Okay, first off, picture. Mulduga, just in case I ever need to do that. 
So how the fuck am I gonna do this? <laughs> this that that's the ever just forever question about any of it. I need to somehow make it fly out as it attempts to attack me. But at the same time, be out of the way for everything else. Huh. Alright, little buddy. I want to see some things. Listen. We are both gonna die if you don't let me mount you. Okay. I can shoot arrows from up here. Haha! -ha! We can fight! Oh. Seriously? Hold on. I gotta go. <laughs> it's a buzzkill, but I have a date with a shrine. Peace. <laughs> it just. Frozen in the air. <laughs> At least I didn't try and kill it and then like have half its health gone just in time for a blood moon. Fucking blood moon. Alright. We'll be back there. But I have to strip naked. On the shrine. It's what the mo it's what, what's what it said for me. Alright. Goddess of High of Hyrule, I present myself in all my glory. Okay. We got that out of the way. I don't think I'm gonna go in immediately. I just wanted to see what happened. Also, I'm curious. Does he say anything different once the shrine is out here? Ah! So nothing between you and the night air meant naked! Boldly standing naked on the pedestal. That's definitely reminiscent of the Hero of Legend. Take care, and may the light illuminate your path. Okay. I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, talk to him every single time I finish one of these shrines, and then he eventually goes, You know, you've completed all of these. Oh, hey! Look at Korn! He got himself out of that sticky situation where he was hanging off the side of the cliff. Oh, gosh. All right, Malduga, I have returned. The blood moon has happened. You have my full, undivided attention. Let's rumble. Ha-ha! Ah. It begins. I've done some damage. Ow, oh shit. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta go. Hey! It's freaking out! It's just kind of like, Oh god, I've been hurt! I'm panicking now, I never expected I would be attacked back! Alright. Oh, that's scary! Oh my god! Alright! That's fine! You wanna know why? Because now I can shoot you from the air! <laughs> Done. Easy peasy. Get wrecked. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Nope. Nah. nah Alright. I fucked up. I wanted to take a selfie with the dying Malduga, but I forgot the buttons for it. Malduga Finn. A sturdy Finn obtained from a, Maduga, a Molduga. It can be used to make elixirs, but there may be someone willing to trade for it. Alright, so what do we got for here? Oh, I can't take pictures of all these things. That's fine then. Maduga Guts, a giant organ obtained from a Maduga. This invaluable ingredient is hard to come by, and it's shrouded- it's used to shrouded in mystery. Nice. Well, that was... intriguing. It actually wasn't so bad, like, once I actually hit it, and it came out of the ground... 
I was able to, and once it hit me in the air, I was able to just spam arrows at it. Ah, Gerudo Spear. This spear center of gravity is in its tip, making it a bit unwieldy for the average warrior. But in the hands of a skilled Gerudo war uh, warrior, it's a weapon of reliable strength. Fine, I'll drop that just so I can have the weapon for a brief second. Okay. So we're gonna mark this location. I don't think that was the one we fought before. Yeah, so there are just different ones around the area. Camera. That's a nice shadow link with the Gorilla Spear. And, whoops. And it's gone. Don't need it. With that said, what I do want is possibly... ...to light these torches, because I'm suspicious. I am suspicious of these torches. After everything we've seen, there's a chance that this will reveal a Korok. Or maybe even a shrine. Alright, let's see if I can do a long range, long range attack. Bounce into it! Damn it! Is it a shrine? Oh, it is a shrine! Okay. Well, that was lucky. I just guessed. I honestly was thinking it was gonna end up being a, uh, another Korok thing. Alright, little shrine. I'll come back to you. But, I have things I must accomplish. Yes. Orf. Indeed, little seal. <laughs> 